Hi everyone, my name is Melina. Welcome to my channel if you're new here and welcome back if you're not. I'm getting over some congestion, so I'm really sorry for how I sound throughout this whole video. I'm going to be talking about some books that are highly recommended on TikTok, which ones I think are worth your time, energy, and money, and which ones maybe aren't. I love book talk. I love a lot of the creators on there. I think they're really energetic and entertaining. I also love to read, and I love getting new recommendations of what I should read. There's obviously patterns, and you'll start to see the same books showing up again and again in recommendations, and I've read a handful of them. I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and opinions on them with you. Take everything I say in this video with a grain of salt. Obviously, what books you enjoy, what books I enjoy, that's totally subjective and it's nothing personal if I love a book that you absolutely hate or vice versa. So without further ado, let's just get started. First, I'm going to talk about The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. This book follows a massive movie star from the 60s named Evelyn Hugo, who is known for her work on screen, but also the seven husbands she had throughout her lifetime. She was fairly secretive during her time in the spotlight, so when in 2017, an up-and-coming reporter is approached to interview her about her life, it is a big deal. If you don't want to go much more into the plot, I feel like that's all you really should know before going in. It is incredible. You get so emotionally attached to Evelyn and her cast of characters, and they feel so real. I feel like that's what Taylor Jenkins Reid is really good at. This book is fantastic. It's hard to explain how much I love it, but... I do love it so much. This one is totally worth the hype. I'm gonna also talk about Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, which has also gained a lot of traction online. There's also going to be a TV show adaptation coming out sometime soon. I know they've been working on that. I've been definitely keeping up with updates just because I'm so excited for this come out. It follows this band again in like the 70s. I know Taylor Jenkins Reid has said it is heavily inspired by Fleetwood Mac, obviously not the same, but that kind of vibe. And the whole book is told through interviews and each of the members of the band after they've split up about their time recording music together, about their time on tour. Again, it feels all so real, you get so attached to the characters. And I listened to the audiobook, which I love the audiobook for this. Every single character has their own narrator, everyone has their own separate voice, and I feel like it makes the characters feel even more real. And I'll talk about the third book that I feel like has gained a lot of traction for Taylor Jenkins Reid, and that is Malibu Rising. This follows a family living in Malibu. They're all in the spotlight. They are all famous. They have also had a lot of issues growing up, and it delves back into the timeline of when they were growing up and the things they had to deal with, but also back to now. And there was this party coming up that they throw every single year, and you just know something bad is going to happen by the end of it. And so with these alternating timelines, I guess it really just sucked me into caring about the characters, learning about their backstories, but also kind of waiting for what was going to happen at the party later that night. Every book that I have mentioned so far by Taylor Jenkins Reid is incredible, and I recommend all of them wholeheartedly. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. I feel like this was mentioned a lot on TikTok like a few months ago, maybe not as much now. I do remember reading it in like the summer of 2019, so it's been like two and a half years since then. And I remember enjoying it then, but don't. I can't really tell you much of the plot other than they're rich and they're on an island and there's drama. So if that sounds like something up your alley, I'm sure you'd like <laughs> We're going to talk about Emma Henry because I love that woman so much. Two books have really gained traction and that is People We Meet on Vacation and Beach Read. I love this book so much. Beach Read is easily, 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 easily my favorite read of the year last year like and I read 38 books last year that was my all-time favorite Beach Read is about two authors and they're January and Gus they are neighbors for the summer January is trying to deal with some of the grief after losing her dad and kind of uncovering family secrets and she's kind of bothered by the presence of Gus who's kind of like know-it-all like I know everything I am so above it all they end up getting to know each other it's a great book I love it also it takes place on a beach in northern Michigan that does not exist but I do love Michigan and then People We Meet on Vacation is about Alex and Poppy and they've been best friends for a long time and they have gone on a vacation with each other every year up until a few years ago when something happened on the vacation and she needs to go vacationing to write an article for the place she works for and so she calls up Alex and she's like, hey, wanna go on a vacation? He's like, sure. So it does go back and forth. I do love alternating timelines if they're done correctly. So it goes back to each of the vacations they've had up until whatever happened during that one vacation and then also the one they're going on now where they're trying to resolve their friendship. It's great. I love it. It makes me happy. I love travel books. Maybe I just like books set in summer. My copy looks terrible, but Normal People by Sally Rooney. I wish I didn't read this. I feel like everyone is kind of split on this. There's not a lot of plot. That was my issue with it. Um, but that's kind of the whole point of the book, that there's not a lot of plot, it's just a snippet of these people's lives, Connell and Marianne. It's Connell and Marianne's lives as they're going in and out of each other's lives, and the impact that they've had on each other. I think Sally Rooney has said that it's just about 
how people can have such a strong effect on you, even if they're not always in your lives, even if they were in your life for a certain period. Was it the worst book I've ever read? Maybe not. Was it the best? Definitely not. Uh, I just, I, I feel like I could not give behind this. It's for certain people, and those certain people are not me. Okay, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to me talk about books. Maybe I'll make more book content in the future. I really want to. I really love to read. So I think it'll be fun to talk about it, but who knows? Who knows? We'll see. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.